everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be absolutely, that's not, that's even more tilted. <clears throat> Look, you're just gonna be angled. <sighs> I think you guys should know that this was the longest hiatus I've had since forever for shitty cooking and because of that, um, I do feel pretty bad. If this works out well, oh my god, if this works out well enough that, oh no, I just broke it. Eh, that's fine. So this is just a camera that's sitting on top of a camera stand, it's not screwed into the camera stand, which I know sounds stupid and it is, trust me. We're making gumbo, I came back from New Orleans this past weekend um, and it was great, had some of the best food of my entire life because this is a city that is known for great seafood. I had pancreas fried, which was delicious, also known as sweet bread. I had oysters from all sorts of places. I had um, so much food and I had the best gumbo of my life. Now, I never made gumbo and I'm a, I'm a firm believer that, that, that soup sucks. Soup, soup can suck and it does suck and I'm not a fan of it. I like stews. I, I had this gumbo and it fuck, was so good. It almost changed my life and I wanted to make my own authentic gumbo. So I looked up a recipe and it looks pretty complicated. That's tough. I also love hush puppies. It's basically fried bread, fried cornbread. Um, who doesn't love that? Exactly, so we do have ourselves the oil necessary to fry us some cornbread. Peaking, is it? All right, well, I don't know, man. How about now? Test! Was that too, I think the compressor is too strong. Color is a little washed out if we're fixing things. No, we're not. We're not fucking fixing the washed out color of, of uh, look, I live in a windowed apartment, all right? There's windows everywhere. I can't fix it. We're gonna start with them hushed puppies. We're gonna make these puppies. You know that whenever you're getting something, you want it to look like this, right? You, you, in general, you're gonna want your ingredients to have, to look like your grandma just grabbed them and was like, all right, slap a little, <laughs> look at these wartime kids, all right? You want, you want it to look like they just got out of World War II. That's how you know it's good ingredient. Four tablespoons of cubed butter. How do you, how do you, how am I supposed to, Never mind. You know, I recently found out that butter has the convenient tablespoons right here. But here's my question, okay? And this one, this one is very, I want, you to, I want you to look at this. You see how this says one tablespoon? What is this? What about the gap? Is that like three quarters of a tablespoon? Oh yeah, that's just great for the knife. Right through the metallic covering. That's some good butter right there. All right, so it wants me to cube this up. I didn't clean this apparently. Well, that's fine, it's all going into the same place. It's just breadcrumbs. So I'm thinking like we cut it down this way, get him with, get him with the... <sighs> My favorite part is when it just doesn't tell me, um, you know, like, hey, how about, uh, how, mu how much of this? A half teaspoon of garlic powder. Where the fuck is a half teaspoon? Where's my teaspoons? A half teaspoon doesn't seem like a lot. I feel like they're not adequately seasoning their food. Their food? <laughs> food. <laughs> ah, I hate this. Oh, you, oh, you see this? You guys see this shit, right? This, oh. Oh, I hate it. While I have you here though, I need one half a teaspoon of onion powder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scoop that. Doesn't hurt, just a little more. A little more for Jesus. I wonder if it's gonna be good. You know, I've never made any of this stuff before and that's kind of like the thing I have to, uh, uh, I gotta do it again. It's kind of thing with shitty cooking, like I'm not supposed to have made the stuff before. Bagels is an exception. I just wanted to make bagels. And you know, that one came off pretty easily. Like the second time you undo a bra. That was a paprika, half teaspoon, we need a quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon of garlic powder. That's fine, got that right over here. It's granulated garlic, not garlic powder, but whatever. Mm, okay, all right. Yeah, this is, ooh. Yeah, this is coming along, not, yeah, okay. It's garlic, you know, add, add, add some more, add some more. Who cares? Add some more, get crazy with it, get zany. It wants me to add the flour in here. It just wants me to add everything. Okay, that's cool. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. You know, so one thing that I've actually started to do, and I didn't know you could do this because I thought it was illegal in most states, is you can just buy ground black pepper. You don't have to grind it yourself. You can just do, this is a lot easier, let me tell you. 
than, than doing it the way that I've been doing it for my whole life. One tablespoon of sugar. You guys ever just take a whole tablespoon of sugar and just eat it? Anybody who doesn't, you guys are missing out. Oh man, oh man, let me, oh. I mean, some people are out here drinking a whole coffee. Me, I'm just spoon, spooning sugar in. Cornmeal, now this, so, this is what I'm talking about. Look at how homemade this looks. It's not homemade, I bought it at Rouse. This is a mega corp for sure, but it looks better than the Kroger brand, and that's why you just assume. See, look, it's, it even says you can see our quality. I mean, that's great, I get to see, in, is this a photo? Nope, okay, no, it's, that's actually real in there. Oh yeah, I mean, you look at, I mean, you can just see, look at this, this is quality. This right here, America doesn't run on Dunkin', America runs on corn. You see this? This is everything in this world. All right, now we're doing a three quarter cup again, this time of all purpose flour, which, wow, that is so much more than three quarter cup. I went for it. And what we're doing here is we're trying to use three quarter cup flour up because, you know, really like, oh, hello, act like you've measured a single fucking thing in your life. That's three quarter cup. Oh yeah, I mean, there you go. Fourth time's the charm. All right, I'm gonna add jalapenos in there for the second half, all right? Some I wanna do without, some I wanna do with. Probably don't need to use all of this inside of the hushed puppies here. Yeah, yeah, something like this. Something like that size, that seems good. Everything's great, I should probably heat up some oil. So it wants two inches of oil, which is a lot and kind of an odd way to measure. I really should have used a smaller thing. This is so, half a gallon, three quarts of oil in here, bitch. All right, that's fine. 365 degrees, which according to me is really fucking hot. All right, now let's add the, add the egg and the buttermilk. Wait, that's not egg. Oh, stirring the cube butter at the end. How much buttermilk, a cup? Mmm. Yes, nothing better. A cup is eight ounces, right? That's what I think. Mm, it, it smells like Greek yogurt, except I like Greek yogurt. Oh, that was a great crack job, Tuck. Really good. Showing, showing chefs around the world. Well, I didn't get it. Yeah, a little shell. Oh, you can't see it, fuck. Nobody actually saw it. This was actually my plan all along. Idiots, get pranked, nerds. I'm just gonna let it cool off for a bit. Uh, so you'll notice that I didn't have, in my panic, I didn't have a thing that I wanted to use for um, mixing this. So I'm using a normal spatula, which is not a good item to do this with. I do see a wooden spoon over there that I think I should have used and I just ignored in my panic. But that's, I mean, things could be worse. The chunks of fucking butter are so nuts. Why didn't I cut them up even smaller? Whoa, zany. You know, pay no attention to the things that are falling, all right? Yeah, that's a bit hot. All right, so I mean, look, this definitely, <laughs> This is definitely thickened, okay? But some, there's chunks of like butter in here that I can't get. Also, how am I supposed to load this in? You know what I mean? Like, mmm, mmm. Look at that hushed puppy. Look at that puppy boil. That's not, oh, ew. Okay, listen, it's gonna come out looking a little suspect, but I want you to know that just because it looks weird doesn't mean that on the inside, it's not made of exactly the same stuff that everything else is, all right? How long do they, how long are you supposed to cook them in, in the in this bay for? Uh, two, three minutes, okay, just basically until they're golden brown. Listen, bud, you're gonna be in there for a little less because you are in fact getting roasted. I don't know, man, looks pretty good to me. 365 is a good temperature to have, but I think it's overblown. I think 400 and whatever the fuck when you overheat it is just fine. It's probably raw in there. Yeah, you're right. You're right, we should throw it back in. You thought you were done. He thought he was, he was like, man, I'm still alive. No, you're getting cooked. All right, now I'm actually gonna remove it. Look at that. That looks like a, that looks like a restaurant grade puppy right there. I'd say we get to, let's try this, you know? Oh yeah, it's raw as shit. 
but you can taste the idea. <coughs> the idea you know you can taste the idea behind it and that is where that's where the positivity is I have like dry cornmeal in the back of my throat sorry let's get to dipping mmm alright I wish I could zoom out but I can't Ooh, ah. let's turn these bad boys over wow these are coming out to look mighty weird hey Google can dogs have hush puppies? Is that cannibalism? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Neither do I. I found something else. Do you want to know are hush puppies healthy? No, it's fucking deep fried batter. Is a, is a hush puppy healthy? Apologies, I don't understand. Well, batter is not going to generally be healthy. You know, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's not not healthy. It's just cornmeal and egg. And, and, but it's the buttermilk that really is gonna be super high in fats and stuff. Does that make sense? You're not listening, I can see, because you don't have your lights lit up. You ask questions and then you leave me. Wow, these are some big boys, but look at, look at, the, look at the crust. Look at that. Look at the perforation. You can see the texture. This is because we chose some good cornmeal. Look at that. That's what I'm, look at that. I mean, that is. You know what, the only thing that's gonna harm my dog is not getting a little corn fritter that he has earned, that he has deserved. For what? For being my friend for 10 years. He's staring at me through the baby gate. I like not having him underneath my feet in the kitchen. He's been getting real bad about begging, like because he knows he can get away with it. And also, uh, my girlfriend feeds him toast and shit like she's Pavlovi like she's got trained him that every time we taught we like toast something he's like I'm getting some fucking toast baby if you've never given your dog toast try it make sure it's not super hot but make sure it's crunchy oh my god there we go what do we think what do we think about this I'm liking the look of that right there it's a little big these are more like, these aren't hush puppies. These are hush dogs right here. These are some hush dogs. We're making the honey, we're making the honey. We're making the honey butter. Might have been too much honey. Who cares? I don't. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, yummy. Look at that, mmm. Oh, this is so undercooked. God damn it. No. Not really. Nope, never mind. That one was. This one looks like a quality hush puppy right there. So gumbo. Gumbo, I forgot chicken. Son of a fucking dick. How did I forget rotisserie chicken? I forgot my rotisserie. Rotisserie chicken. Probably needed to thaw this, didn't I? This is already cooked. Yeah, this is cooked. It's fine. It's cooked. It's cooked. It's fine. I'm gonna think we should chop, not dice the onion, because I want chunks. I don't want it to fall apart too much. Sorry, I forgot that I'm left-handed before I, I mean, I didn't forget. I remember, I all, I mean, you know what I'm saying. I just forgot the camera would be, this is a lot of onion. It said a medium onion? No, it said large. One bunch of celery diced. Is a, what's a bunch? Like all of this? That's so much celery. Uh, let's start with five stalks, four stalks. Nothing like being fucking knuckle deep in, an, in a yellow onion, or a yellow onion, a yellow uh, pepper. This is, how much parsley? One bunch, finely chopped. I just gotta transfer a lot of oil, and you know how I'm gonna do that? This blender. Perfect. So, because I have no way of storing it or getting it out of here, and so I am gonna get rid of that. I have not used that blender since I kind of destroyed it the last time we did a shitty cooking where I needed a blender and I put frozen <clears throat> meat in it, but that's fine. It had better days. Ninja has seen better days. Much like the streamer, this thing passed its prime, and honest to God, 
full of snake oil. I'm kidding. Ninja's not shilling NFTs yet. Don't do it. So when they say one bunch of green onion, okay, in my head, and I could be wrong, but in my head, when I think of green onion, I think of everything from here on up. Correct? Correct? But probably stopping it around here. And using the green for garnish at the end. We're getting some very artistic sunlight right now. Look at it. Oh my God. It's just, they're just sitting. All right, well, you can. They're just sitting there. Look at them. It's miraculous. Okay, guys, we are now locked and loaded for the next, apparently 30 to 40 minutes. Is this what it's supposed to be doing, bubbling and stuff? Is Am I gonna be able to cut something at the same time? Make me throw my hands in the air. A, oh my God. Never again can we, never again can we allow pop music to be like that. I mean, I guess it's kind of always like that, but you know what I'm saying, like, oh man, that was so bad. Cool. Uh, what else do we got going on? Not much. I think you guys can take a, take a break from the roux. Oh, it looks so good. I'm a huge fan of this shit, can't lie. Something about it, something about grilling sausages, grilling brats, oh my God, summer days, I think, I think it's where true happiness is. Look at that, oh yeah, brothers. Look at that there, brother. Let me tell you that, I'm sucking a good oil. Get in there. I should have cut a hole in the bottom of this. Oh God, it's squirting on me. Jesus Christ, it's coming all over me. Uh, I'm gonna put the shrimp in now because it's still like, it needs to cook a little bit because it's not it's not fully. Oh shit! That scrimp went where no scrimp should go. Too close to the burner. You thought you could escape? Oh man, that's that boy thick. Oh man, that's the stuff right there. It's risky. Okay. Let me get a scrimp. Okay. Huh. Um. Oh. Thank God the thank God the shrimp was cooked, but there's a fucking tail on it. And you say cut the tail off. It came pre-frozen. I wasn't paying attention. But like all things considered. This is good shit right here. You want to try a hush puppy? It's not going to kill you. I had them. They're pretty decent. <clears throat> Here, I'll give you a small nugget. How about this one? <laughs> oh, you can't taste it? Easy cop out. Not bad. I'll take that. You, you got to get them when they're warm. Can't see shit. Did you just put it back while my glasses were fogged up? You're fucking cut. Walk home. 